Hey, first grade friends, and welcome back to another day of writing your fairy tales. Um, as you can see, I've added in more details about my good characters, Zap, Zip, and Zop, and added in a little bit more information um, about my evil orca, Zing. Uh, the magic element that I wrote about was that all of the animals in the story behave and speak like humans. And now, the next element that we'd like to incorporate is the pattern of three. Now, you've probably seen this come up in Goldilocks and the Three Bears, thinking of three bears. You also might have noticed that in Little Red Riding Hood, she asks the wolf about his ears, his eyes, and his mouth. So even three events could be the pattern of three. So you've seen this pattern of three a few different ways in the fairy tales that you've been reading. So when you're thinking of the pattern of three for your fairy tale, think of the pattern of three maybe as the number of characters, like in my story, the three chin strap penguins. But it could also be three objects. Say your hero or your good character is going on an adventure to find three flowers from different lands, or they're collecting three jewels from different castles. So it could be the number of characters, it could be something that they're finding in your story, or it could be events in your fairy tale too, like Little Red Riding Hood asking the wolf about, or well, what she thinks is Granny, the ears, the eyes, and the mouth. So, pattern of three could be characters, objects, or events in your fairy tale. For mine, the three chin strap penguins are my pattern of three. But I'm also going to include an event. The penguins try three different ways to get away from the orca. Or we can use the name too, from Zing. They use three different materials to build traps for Zing. So as my story is coming together, I'm not only having a pattern of three in the characters that I have, but also in the events in the story. So think about that and think about the fairy tales that you've been reading for some inspiration for your story. And today, complete the pattern of three for your planning document or your very own fairy tale. Next time, tomorrow, we're going to look at the problem in your stories.